is the first line of defense against addiction. And a recent discussion at North Central College highlighted the family's role in stopping substance abuse before it starts. In a forum titled The Elephant in the Room, The Talks Every Parent Should Have, a panel of healthcare professionals and parents discussed how to talk to kids about drug abuse and addiction. We need to educate our kids about this, make them aware of what are really the consequences, and empower them to make choices that are going to help them you know, move towards living a life that's worth living. This second installment in a parent series put on by Linden Oaks Behavioral Health Center encouraged parents to talk to kids about peer pressure, support their efforts to resist it, and set a good example at home. Families with kids already addicted were urged to find a rehabilitation program, create a safe and supportive environment, and not give up. Local organizations were on hand to promote resources to help friends, family, and addicts on the road to recovery. I am involved in a group called PATH, which is Positive Acceptance Toward Healing, and we have formed a support group, basically, for parents and families whose loved ones suffer from addiction. Because again, there are a lot of parents in this community who don't know what to do and don't know who to turn to and have questions that aren't being answered and until it's almost too late. Teens who consistently learn about the risks of drugs from their parents are up to 50% less likely to use drugs than those who don't. 